I'm going to show you four different ways of tracing this and let you see the differences. To start with tracing, I'm going to do it in red. Just click trace start, take the pen stylus and trace that line. Now this is the easiest method to do. It's nice and fast. The board does take into account the angle of the pen stylus and I do get accurate results because the pen is generating a magnetic field and not working with touch. So there's that one. That works out pretty well. We're in red. Okay, okay. Now it's method number two. I'm going to click stop here. I'm going to change my color this time to green. And this time I'm going to do lines and arcs. So I come in here to line, click start. We have a little line here at the top. Then I'm going to digitize this as an arc. So I come in here, switch to arc, midpoint of arc, end point of arc. We got a line over here at that little tip. I'm going to do an arc on the side, in the middle and the end. I got a straight line at the bottom, and I got an arc over here, midpoint, end point of the arc. And there's the difference. Click stop. And you can see that the green and the red aren't right on top of each other. The reason for that is the top here, that's not a true arc, and that's not a true arc or an arc. So let's do those as curves. Third method, I'm going to change the color to blue, and I'm going to do lines, arcs, and curves. Click Start. I got a little line here at the top. And then I'm going to switch to a curve. And this time I'm going to do points along that curve and my software put a nice smooth curve through those points let's blind curve fit got another little line at the top over here i got another curve over here do those points along there got a line at the bottom switch to a line and then i got a curve on this side over here do the points of that curve and I'm all done. And look at that. The red and the blue are almost on completely on top of each other. So using tracing or lines, arcs, and curves gives me the exact same result. That's exactly what we want. Let's do it one more time here. I'm going to use the cursor and trace the top edge. So I'm going to come in here, select my color. Let's do this one in pink. Click Start. Click OK. Click Start. We start with the line again. So I'm doing right along that top edge using the cursor, lining the, that point up. So there's my line. I've got a curve here. I have to take a little bit of time here and make sure I get that edge with that cross here lined up with the cursor. But you know, I can digitize the top. It's just the same as 